Hi, I'm Annie from the Maison Blanche Paint Company, and today I'm going to show you a super fun and easy way to transform your furniture using the Maison Blanche Paint Company Embellish Roller. This roller is really cool. It comes in about 20 different patterns, so you can really customize your furniture pieces. I found this little table at the resale store. It was old and dirty and dinged up, but I knew that I could do something special with it. So I dusted it off, I painted it with one of my favorite colors, Mardi Gras green, and then I got to work. After I painted the table green and let it dry, I used Maison Blanche Paint Company Glissage in Walnut. I'm gonna use a putty knife to scoop a little out and put it onto a room key card. You can use an old credit card, you can use uh, the top of a margarine tub that you've cut out, a sheet of polystyrene, but I really like these room keys. I'm just gonna smear it on, I'm at about a 10 degree angle, and I just wanna cover the whole entire surface. Now it's okay if some areas are a little bit thinner and some areas are a little bit thicker. Where the areas are a little bit thicker, the glissage is actually gonna crack a little as it dries. This is perfectly normal and natural and I actually love the way it looks. All right, I've covered the entire surface. Now I'm gonna get my special roller. This one's got like a floral damask pattern on it. And I'm gonna gently and easily take the roller and move it from the top to the bottom. Now you may need to rinse your roller in between if it gets too gunked up, um, and that's fine. Just rinse it off in the sink and then do it again. I'm gonna let this dry completely. The glissage has dried, and you can see in some areas where it was a little bit thicker, it cracked. I love that. I'm gonna paint the entire surface in Maison Blanche Vintage Furniture Paint in Coffee Bean. I'm gonna use my two inch oval Maison Blanche brush to apply a nice 100% coverage coat of paint. I'm gonna let this dry completely before I move on to the next step. Now that my paint is completely dry, I'm gonna do something really fun using Maison Blanche Paint Company Organza. Organza comes in seven different colors and it's a metallic wax. Today I'm gonna to be using antique gold Old Penny and Oil Rub Bronze. This wax is really cool because it's water-based and it dries super fast. I'm going to take a scoop out of each one. A little bit goes a long way. There's the Antique Gold, the Oil Rub Bronze, and the Old Penny. Now I'm going to use a damp kitchen sponge. I got it wet and then I, um, I wrung it out really well. And I'm gonna just put some of it onto the sponge, whatever color you wanna start with, don't overthink it. And I'm just gonna rub some onto the surface. And I'm gonna take a little bit of another color and rub it in. A little bit of gold. Now I'm gonna let this dry completely. It dries pretty fast because it's water-based and then we'll move on to the next step. My organza is completely dry and we've got this nice metallic uh, finish going on that looks really nice. But I want to antique it a little bit, so I'm going to use Annie's Reserve. Annie's Reserve is a tinted glaze. It's pre-tinted. It comes in four different colors. It takes the guesswork out of mixing your own glaze. I am going to use licorice, which is black and I'm gonna use coal tar, which is a dark brown, and it has a little bit of gold fleck in it. It's really nice. I've got a couple of chip brushes, and I'm just gonna dip into one and spread it around. A little bit goes a long way. 
a little bit of coal tar, which is the black. All right, I've applied it to my entire surface, and now I'm gonna use a special brush called the Red Hot Ruby to blend it in. Here she is. I'm just gonna gently scrub my surface to blend these colors together. That looks really pretty. I'm gonna let this set for about 20 minutes. Um, you could leave it just like this if you wanted to, but I'm gonna let it set for about 20 minutes until the glaze gets tacky, and then I'm just gonna use a damp sponge to wipe off the peaks. My glaze has tacked up just a bit, and so I'm gonna take a damp kitchen sponge and gently move it across the surface so that I can just remove some of the glaze from the high points. There, that's just beautiful. I'm gonna let this dry completely. For extra protection, you can add a coat of our satin varnish, our matte varnish, or our gloss varnish. Today we used our special embellished roller, vintage furniture paint and coffee bean, glissage and walnut, Annie's Reserve in two colors, licorice and coal tar, organza wax in three colors, antique gold, old penny, and oil rub bronze. We also used our special Red Hot Ruby brush and the two inch oval Maison Blanche paintbrush. Check out the table now, it looks amazing. I love the dimension that the top texture adds. We ended up painting the whole table with Mardi Gras vintage furniture paint. We removed the hardware and spray painted it to make it shiny and new, and we waxed the whole thing with dark brown wax. Thank you so much for watching our video. We've got more. Check them out and let us know what you think. We'd love it if you would take photos of your own finished projects and share them on the Maison Blanche Facebook page. You can find us at MaisonBlanchePaint.com. I'm Annie, and I'll see you next time.